Hello, everyone. Howdy, guys. We tried to do a Facebook Live, but our internet, connect, internet connection is uh, sort of poor. So we'll just do this real quick, and then we'll upload it as we have a chance mm -hmm. later on. So we're coming to you, not necessarily live. It's live right now. We're live. But when you watch the video, it won't be live, from Mumbai Airport. And we haven't done a video in a while. So we, we thought, thought you, might be missing us. you were missing us. And we miss you guys too. We do so miss you. hello to everyone out there in Facebook land. It's or good to YouTube see you land. again. Or YouTube or wherever this is. But uh, we wanted to take a few minutes and just share a new experience that we recently had with you with couch surfing. Yes. So Francis, explain to all of those out there in Facebook and YouTube land what couch surfing is in case they don't know. So couch surfing is just really um, a website or a, a platform to bring people who are willing to host folks into their home and folks that are looking for a home to be posted into. So it's a it's kind of like a dating site. And how much does it cost to do couch surfing? Nothing. Zero. It doesn't cost anything, but it does cost Time. A commitment and commitment. time and a willingness to share your life with other folks and then and then kind of go on with the flow too. And our couch surfing host actually had some expense that they were willing to share with us like food, yes. transportation and things like that. And although we offered them some money, they were like, no, 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 no. This is our yeah. gift to you. So we want to just take a few minutes to tell you about the experience. So we're here in Mumbai and um, in case you didn't know, one of the reasons we first started looking at this is uh, we did a kind of a couch surfing experience in the past with someone we knew, with an yes. acquaintance. So, hello out there, Chris Wilson. Of course, I know Chris Wilson very well. Right, But right. he is on couch surfing, and we stayed at his home one time. And he did review us. And he reviewed us on couch surfing, so very that's how well. this gets started. So then our next experience with couch surfing is I later realized that you don't necessarily have to connect with people to stay in their home, but maybe they just want to meet up for coffee or to chat, mm -hmm. to have a cultural exchange, so to speak. And so we did that in New Delhi, and mm -hmm. uh, we met a very nice guy, Raj. Which Hello, already, Raj. We've already talked about that. Yeah, and then uh, we did it again here in Mumbai, and I met a local photographer, and I met, met up with him for about half a day. And we ran around uh, downtown Mumbai area, and he took me to a market, mm -hmm. and we made a really great connection. But we decided we wanted to take it a step further, and we put out there on couch surfing that we were looking for a, a bed. host. To host us for two nights. Mm -hmm. And uh, I specifically was looking for another couple because we're a couple. And we didn't want any crazy hanky panky. And we don't want any stuff. crazy hanky panky from I like, don't want anybody thinking, yeah, you know, you know anything. other stuff. Just good stuff. And so <laughs> we, we actually got a couple of replies, but we had one particular couple who mm -hmm. replied, uh, and their names are, if I don't butcher their names, hopefully. Nikita and Ishwa. So, Nikita. Nikita. hello guys. And Ishwa. So, thanks for hosting us. They were an amazing couple. Oh and, my gosh, such an amazing couple. And I'll tell you now, it turned out to be an amazing experience. But going into it, we certainly had our uncertainties. We've and, not done this before. And they had their uncertainties about us too. They That's right. Us. And we had, a, we had a chance to talk about that a little bit. But, uh, you know, it was a little bit scary. It wasn't I scary. I thought the taxi but, ride to the place was scarier. But there was certainly a lot of uncertainties. And so you're literally going into someone's home who's complete yeah, you strangers. Don't know. You don't know. And you don't know. Now you don't they, know your bed. You don't know if they, you don't know anything. So what you do know is by looking at the website is that they had been verified. So that's a big plus. They had a couple of reviews. They had a couple of reviews, so that was a big plus. That helped us as well. You don't want that guy in the background. Oh, yes, so, I do. No, you don't. So they had a couple <laughs> of reviews, and so uh, and they looked like a sweet couple. And so that was basically about all we knew. They had some photos of their, of their home, of what it looked like. So you get a general idea, just like if you're going to book an Airbnb or something but like that. But they're not in it for, like, the cash. Absolutely it's not. It's not like an Airbnb. That's and they're right. They're not looking. They're not in it for, um, you know, what can we get out of these people? Right. And that was a little odd because that's against what I've experienced with most of the yeah. Indian folks I've Everything met. Yeah. Everything else here in India has been. <laughs> everyone has their hand out, mm -hmm. looking for a handout yes. for the most tip, part. Tip, 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 tip. And so that's not at all what this experience was about. 
what this was experience was about was more of a cultural exchange, so to speak. And so us learning more about their culture, their everyday life, and them learning mm -hmm. uh, more about our culture and their everyday life because they're an India family, uh, they're Hindi. Mm -hmm. uh, religion. We we learned a whole lot about They're their very forthcoming their about faith. That. Yes, and I uh, got to experience some really cool things regarding that. There was actually a festival going on during this time, and uh, it was it was really insightful. I loved it. I really loved it. And if anybody knows us, which all of you should, we don't know very much about Hindi. Yeah, no. We don't know much about the you know, India All culture. I know is that idols are bad and that they're all going to hell. That's what I was brought up That's with, what you were told? And um, it was interesting to have the couple talk to us about the idols in a positive way. Like, these are our idols. This is what's going on. So, mm -hmm. But I loved it. I loved understanding the culture. Even though I only understood about this much of it, it was wonderful to see just um, how it works for them. They had offered yesterday to take us out to all these places like landmarks and local things. But in the end, we actually ended up not doing that. We talked. And I'm really glad. We talked a lot. We spent the entire <laughs> two days talking. Oh, it was wonderful. And getting to know each other. And listening. And it was actually nice to kind of put the brakes on and slow down a little bit. But they were such great guests, and that uh, they were constantly... We were guests. They were great hosts. They were great hosts. They were constantly feeding us and giving us food, and they had a very nice home and a nice condo uh, in a high-rise building here in Mumbai. A nice location, very comfortable home. No, it's fine. Okay. Very comfortable home. Trying to help him. I know. I can read some of that. And uh, when I'm trying to do something, and it was a great experience, but we definitely learned so much from them. We learned a lot about business. Uh, they're also both entrepreneurs, and they learned a lot from us about I think so. health, I think. They asked a lot of questions anyway. So what else did you want to cover regarding? I just wanted to talk about also, certainly the end result, we talked about that, that that was a really positive experience. We went into it uncertain. We came out, we went through it. We were super, we try to be very considerate of what was going on. Um, and they were very accommodating to us. I needed to, um, I needed to pick up some stuff at the market. They were like super attentive about that. I was really kind of trying to get my hair, you know, colored because like the gray six weeks is happening. <laughs> Turns out she and, can't um, get her that color hair done color in is India. My not, is not legal here in India. But they tried. Um, they really went out of their way did. to try they to help did. us get that done. And then they convinced me that they really don't see any gray. So that was even better. Yeah. So, <laughs> so anyway, we um, super accommodating. That was very kind. Then um, we wanted to give a gift to them like we just have a backpack and we sure as hell didn't think about toting around a bunch of American souvenirs made in China you no, know no. so um, what could we give them so what we ended up doing is um, I asked Keith and Keith was more than willing to do this he took a bunch of pictures and we were there with some ceremonies were happening so we took some pictures and he will edit them and make them look fabulous and then that's our gift to them. And last night they, they actually were dressed up quite nicely yes, it was very and some fancy. traditional India dress and so uh, she's beautiful, beautiful young lady. We He's a nice are. looking young man and so I'm really excited after the video to get started on editing these photos so we'll definitely share that with them. But most importantly, we made a connection mm -hmm. and we, we, we shared a lot of ideas with one another and I think that that's something that will continue for a long, long time. Yes, lifelong connection. Uh, we're already making plans to meet up uh, in April. Hong Kong. April, in Hong April. Kong. Yeah, so for some business related ideas that we discussed. So we won't go into detail about that though. So, uh, so maybe real quick, some key points on being a considerate guest if you decide to try to count surfing and, okay, keep, and I definitely I definitely strongly suggest that you try it while traveling so considerate guest tip number one all right keep your shit together and be considerate of your crap don't have your shit strode out like, all over the place got it all out try to keep it contained keep it contained as much as possible clean up after yourself it's really important they're clean not your mama no or your wife no 
or your husband. No. Nope. Clean up after yourself. And try to make a least amount of impact into their daily life as possible. Right. Um, Anything else? Just be respectful. Yeah. Don't bitch. Yeah. Be it's appreciative. If you get a bad feeling and you don't like how this is going, just leave. That's right. There, there's no... No one's holding you to there's no any, chain there. any commitment. So, mm -hmm. yeah. But yeah, that's our tips. Uh, give it a try if you've never done couch surfing. Uh, it really helped us quite a bit with our budget because we didn't have to pay a hotel expense. But that's not the help. primary reason we did it. I just want everyone no, to know no, that. No, no, it wasn't. The primary reason is we wanted to connect with someone local and learn more about their culture. And uh, check mark on that because that's exactly what happened. Plus, we made some new friends that will be a lifelong connection. So. Yes, yes. Anything else the you want to add? Camera slipping. Anything the else you want to add? The, the camera arm's getting tired. It's getting tired. It's getting tired. Anything else you want to add? Not, not on this video. All right. So. So like us, subscribe to us. Yeah. Uh, follow what else are we supposed stuff. to say? Um, go to the website Silver Fox Photography. No, SilverFoxExplorer.com. Right. And uh, like this video, share, share it. Share it. Share your video. Uh, whatever else you're supposed to do to make this where the world can see it. Here's one thing. Leave us a comment below and let us know. I'm going to ask you a question. Do you think that you would be open to do, do having a couch surfing experience, staying with a complete stranger? Or opening your home up. Or maybe even opening your home. If that's mm -hmm. something uh, you think you'd be, be willing to do, Please leave a comment. If not, leave a comment and let us know what your uncertainties are. We'll get maybe a little discussion going about it. So well, for now, keep following us. Uh, safe travels, hopefully. And uh, next time we talk to you, hopefully we'll be in Kochi. So goodbye, everyone. Ciao. Ciao, ciao. <laughs>